Logan Kane here, and this is episode 28 of Paper Sorcerer. Looks like we're going to take down the binding of this block. Well, hopefully. But let's see what we got here. Woohoo! We meet again, Sorcerer! Ever since our duel in the Dragon Fang Caverns of the Underfell, I've been training. I've unlocked arcane secrets of life and death, shadowy powers of forgotten gods, and ancient secrets of philosophers. This time, our duel will not end in a stalemate, but my victory! Is it really a stalemate if you lock away somebody forever? Well, last time I fought somebody that had Goonies, I didn't kill the Goonies and it ended up being a mistake. So, let's just go ahead, let, let's start stacking on the, st stack on the dots in the Necromancer. Miniature, do a power swing. Oh, that reminds me. Before anybody is wondering why everything looks so perfect in my stats right now, I did go off. Before I started, I decided, you know what? I'm going to go sleep in my room so I get all my energy and life back. And defense, well, I guess defense is already back. But, you know, get all that good stuff going. So for the first time, I'm actually fighting a boss fight without being horribly disadvantaged somehow. That did a ton of damage to them. Wow. Alright. I thought those guys died quicker than that. Maybe not. Can I do a poison fist? I cannot. Let's do a charging fist on the zombie. Sorcerer? I want you to poison. Poison, poison, poison. The necromancer. But I let. Wait. You know, this game is so inconsistent. Just a little bit of nitpicking. If I'm the bad guy, why am I... Uh, it just seems... I'm supposed to be the bad guy, yet there's a necromancer that came out to defeat me. That's why. I don't understand. Ooh, I poisoned him. He's poisoned and bleeding. He gonna die. And that guy did die. Alright. Well then. I guess defensive strike was kind of useless with the cultist there, but... I'm doing an ar arterial slice. Minotaur, you can't do anything. Just attack. Well, the sorcerer... Can the sorcerer really do anything? Will the ruinous blaze... Does that have a chance? I think only... Wait, abyssal Fro frost does damage over time? Well, what the hell, I'll do abyssal frost. I can always soul steal, so... And Cultus, you, I want you to restore defense to the entire party. I guess only the miniature's been hit. I need to pay attention more. Oh, Mega Bane? That sounds painful. Whoa, minus 27 in my magic. What kind of craziness is that? Ah, I'm still able to catch. Oh, wait. Yeah. That didn't do anything. Well, we got some defense back. Troll? You know what? Just go ahead and break him. And the Minotaur. I gotta wait for him to get a little bit more energy. Two more points, I believe. And of course, just... I don't know what to do. Oh, right. Soul Steel. That's what I'm gonna do. And the Cultist really should focus if he can. I don't remember if he can. Wait, raises the physical resistance? You know what? Do Magic Circle right. White. Let's do that first. I wanna see what that does. 273 damage. He's taking the hit. I get the feeling I'm going to kill him and he's going to attack me again just like that other dude did. I mean, that was way too easy. I'm terrified. 4,905 experience, though, and 335 gems. You've gained a new skill level in Firestorm. Ooh. Firestorm. Minotaur? Eh, whatever. Rending Strike seems to suck. Divine Power, more heal, whatever. Reduce target defense. And the puppet leveled up. Forgot about the puppet. Uh, whatever, rend. Okay. Well, let's see what fights me here in a second. Oh, I see you've been training too. You're even stronger now. <coughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> he produces a blood gem. And the folds. Well, I completely failed there. He produces a blood red gem from the folds of his robe. During our last duel, I tuned this gem to your exact life signature. If I break this gem, it's the end of you. I'd hope to beat you with my magic to 
prove the superiority of my art. In the end, though, victory is still victory. A twisted smile spreads across his face. Goodbye, sorcerer. He smashes the gem on the ground. Da -da -da. Nothing happens. What? How is this possible? The spell was cast pro- I was sure- Unless- <gasps> His face pales. Blood begins to spread beneath him as his wounds catch up to him. You're not the same person. He collapses lifeless on the floor. Oh, am I not that sorcerer? Ooh, twist. Yeah, whatever. Really, I'm not going to fight. I'm just going to go into all chanty mode. As you approach, you recite the chant of unmaking, uncomfortable body moving in its scorn, chant is furnace, binding snaps, everything fades away. Well, that was really quick. It's quite possibly the fastest one we ever had. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway. For an instant, the spirit regards you with a strange look. However, it's gone so quickly you're not sure if it was just your imagination. The sixth binding has been broken. We're getting closer. I've been told there's some powerful fiends sealed away in Block 7. I get the feeling they might not be the friendliest sorts. The, over the overseer... How did I do her voice? It's not working right now. Whatever. The overseer of Block 7 is Yar and the Priest. I just can't do it right now. Whatever. The overseer of Block 7 is Yar and the Priest, another one of the heroes who sealed you away. I've heard he hates fighting and says a prayer at night for every foe he's ever vanquished. That must take a while. A sign goes spinning past your head, barely missing your nose, turning to see what... Mm, what? Mechanation? Will produce such a projectile, you see the zombie's shop. Damn it. Listexia. The shop zombie rapidly spinning another sign with a handle. The revolving blur renders the zombie's sign unreadable, so you instead survey the sign at your feet. New stock renders old armaments to trash. Shop now or ever regret your mistake. Well... That was way easier than I thought it would be. The unsettling guy. Buy food, friend, friends. Coven of H nice. Which is sealed away. Block seven. Straw. They're so. They, they didn't just lock them up. They walled them in too. Brick by brick. <laughs> A couple of years ago, some inmates escaped and ran amok on Block 7. I heard they hid some stuff away before the guards got them. That was Water Demon somebody else, too? No. I don't remember the Water Demon. <laughs> I saw they put some namby pansy priest in charge on Block 7. I saw him once. Yeah. I think I'd take him. I don't feel like it right now. Well, that's it for this episode 27 i think it's 28 that's it for episode 28 of paper sorcerer thanks for watching enjoy all right i'm back uh hey actually we had one more thing i was not expecting this and i even went way too fast on this and had to slow it down apparently there's actually something when i go to sleep there's a dream I went to sleep so I could be ready for the next game, but, you know, whatever. Anyway, let's get started. As you drift out of consciousness, your mind wanders to the day everything changed. Your master was an ancient, spiteful mummy of a man. You were pretty sure it was just a general hatred of all things that kept him going strong. In fact, the way you were able to survive so long as his apprentice, despite not being particularly gifted in magic, was recognizing when he was about to enter a rage. One day, a particularly battered-looking spirit came and exclaimed, We finally found a master before bringing him a package bundled up in rags. A gleam of intense excitement flickered across the master's eyes as he unwrapped it. Inside, an elegant lap, the master handed it gingerly and licked his lips. Do you know what this is, boy? He asked you rhetorically. Inside this lamp is imprisoned the Dijin. He's been sealed in here for thousands of years. According to the courtly customs of the Dijin, the one who frees him will be granted one wish. A rare but unpleasant smile spread across his wrinkly lips. With that wish, I can have anything I desire, something outside the bounds of even my own magic. You could even wish to rule the world, I offered. You offered, hoping to finish his thought. I said outside the bounds of my magic, you moron. With enough minions, I could take over this pitiful world tomorrow. No, I've been planning this one for some time. I know the perfect thing to wish for. Excitedly, you walked to the center of the room, took a second to focus, and rubbed the lamp three times. A shower of sparks and smoke erupted from the lamp, filling the room with an awful smell like burnt steak. A terrifying figure emerged. 
Ah, it feels so good to be out. Give me your wish, mortal, so I may be free. The master turned his head toward you. With that look, said, now I'll show you why they call me master. Before clearing his throat and saying with practice words, I wish for more wishes. I'm sorry, but that wish is forbidden. The master was crestfallen before getting a shrewd look on his face. Very well. If your powers are that limited, then I wish to be young again. <laughs> your wish is granted, mortal. There was a blinding flash of light and the gym was gone. However, your master has been nothing more than a pile of robes. Carefully, you approach the robes. Master? As the sound of your own voice, something stirred within the robes. You unfold the fabric to reveal a tiny, yet oddly malevolent looking baby. Master, is that you? The baby looked at you. Its eyes completely vacant of any sort of complex thought. Thin stream of drool hanging from his chin. You look around the room, it was completely empty, except for you and the baby. Donning the master's robes, it seemed like the most logical thing to do. Other than that, you have a small handful of dead apprentices. No one ever seen the master's face. He always kept it hidden in the shadows of his crawl. Ugh, why did I do this so quickly? If it slowed to 70%. And... As you walked down the halls of his tower, the minions bowed respectively as they scurried out of your way. No one even questioned why their, mission... their master was carrying a baby. Later on that night, at St. Chilling's home for wayward children, a road figure left an evil-looking baby on the doorstep. This ought to get you straightened out. You said to the increasingly fussy baby as you knocked on the door. At the sound of stirring inside, you retreated into the night. Farewell, master. You wake in a cold sweat, feeling more fatigued than when you laid down. A figure of a woman classes over you. So you managed to get this far, huh? The sorcerer wasn't quite as powerful as the rumors. Seems he got on by shrewd cowardice. My lord. I guess I should be glad I caught the stronger fake, but I'm rather insulted you didn't correct my misjudgment earlier. Well, on to business. And that was very difficult to do. As I was saying, I had to slow it to 77%. I could have actually used it a little bit slower, as you can probably tell by how fast I had to talk. And, yeah. Good thing I used Audacity this time, so I could show you guys that. But, uh, hopefully it was worth it. Enjoy!